Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. This is our today's question. This question has been asked in Wipro and LTH last year. So the question is reverse the digits of number. So for example, you can see in the first sample input is one, two, three, four, five. So what you have to do, you have to simply reverse the digits of the number. So you have to produce the output five, four, three, two, one. In the second sample input, you can see the input is eight, seven, six. So for this input, you have to produce output six, seven, eight. So before moving to the solution, let's see the logic to solve this problem. So first of all, let's assume we have a number one, two, three, four, five, which is stored in a variable number. And I have another variable last, which is empty right now. And I have taken another variable reverse, which is initialized with value zero. Now, first of all, what I will do, I will go to the last digit of this number. And in this case, the last digit is five. So I'm going to take this digit and store it into the variable last. Now, once I store this number into last, the next step is to multiply the reverse with 10 and add last in it. So in this case, the reverse is zero. So when I multiply reverse with 10, it will again give me zero. And after adding last to reverse, I will get reverse as five. Now after this, let's say we are done with this number five. Now I can simply remove this five from the number. So after removing five, the last digit of the number is now four. So now again, we are going to follow the same process that we have followed for five. So again, we are going to store this into the variable last. And again, I am going to multiply reverse with 10. Now this time the reverse is five. So when I multiply reverse with 10, it will become 50. And when I add last in reverse, so it will become 54. So now I can remove four from number again. Now after removing four, the next number is three. So we will store this three into the last. And now I will multiply reverse with 10. So reverse will become 540. And when I add three to it, it will become 543. So after this, I will remove three from the number. So this time we will store two in last and then we multiply reverse with 10. So reverse will become 5430. And when I add last in it, it will become 5432. Now again, I will remove two from the number. So as you can see, the reverse number is 54321 now. And we can simply remove one again from the number. Now, once we get our reverse number, the number will be remaining only zero. So in that case, we will stop this process and we will simply print the reverse number, which is 54321 in this case. So now as we are done with the logic, now let's see the implementation of this problem in C language. So this is the solution in C language. First of all, I have taken an integer number and using scanf, I have stored the value of number which user will give us. Now after this, I have taken a variable reverse and initialized with zero. And similarly, I have taken another variable last. Now after the declaration, the next thing is a loop, which is a while loop here. So in this while loop, I have given a condition number not equals to zero. That means this loop will be iterated till the number becomes zero. Once the number becomes zero, this loop will not be executed further. So first of all, let's say user gives a number which is not equal to zero. So in that case, first of all, this line will be executed in this line we have written last equals to number modulo division 10. Now what this line is actually doing. So it is simply taking the last digit from the number. Now after this, the next line is reverse equals to reverse into 10 plus last. Now in this line, first of all, reverse into 10 will be executed. That means the reverse will be multiplied by 10 and then we will simply add last in it. So after this number equals to number by 10. Now this line will simply remove the last digit which has been added in reverse. So once this loop is executed, we will get our reverse number in the reverse variable. So we will simply print the reverse number in the display using printf. Now let's execute this. So first of all, I will give input. Now, as you can see for one, two, three, four, five, I am getting the output five, four, three, two, one. So that means this number is reversed successfully. So now this is the implementation in Java. First of all, I have created an object of scanner class here. Then after this, I have taken a variable number and I have stored the number which user will give. Then after this, I have taken a string which is reverse and currently this string is empty. So now you might be thinking why I have taken the string reverse here. So you will get the answer once we move forward. So after this, we have a while loop here. Now in this while loop, I have again given the condition number not equals to zero. That means this loop will be executed till the number becomes zero. Now, once we enter this loop, first of all, this line will be executed. So once this line is executed, we will get the last digit of our number in last variable. After this, the next line is reverse equals to reverse plus integer dot two string of last. Now, why I have used integer dot two string here? 
So here is a small tip for you when we get the input which has zero at the end. So they can be easily handled by using this particular solution. And if you try to handle the inputs that has zero at the end using the C language solution that we have seen earlier. So you will simply see the wrong output. Now why that happens? So this is the question for you. You can answer that in the comment section. Now let's move forward. So after executing this line, the digit will be added to the reverse string. Now after this, this line number equals to number divided by 10. It simply remove the digit that we have added in the reverse string from the number. Once this loop is executed, we will get our reverse number in the string reverse. So once we come out of this loop, we will simply display the reverse string. Now let's execute this program. Let's say this time I am giving an input which has zero at the end. Now for this input 1900, you can see the output is 0091. So now this is the solution in Python. First of all, user will give us input. So we will take the input using input function and using int function, we will convert it into integer and we will store it into number. After this, I have taken a reverse string and initially this string is empty. Now after this, I have taken a while loop here. Now in this while loop, I have again given the condition number not equals to zero. That means till this condition is not false, the loop will be executed. Now inside this loop, the first line is last equal to number modulo division 10. Now what will happen after this line? So we will simply get the last digit of the number in the variable last. And after this line reverse equals to reverse plus str of last. Now in this line, first of all, this part will be executed. And after successfully executing this part, we will get the last digit added to the reverse string. Now after this, this line will simply remove the last digit from the number. And once this loop is executed, we will get our reverse number in the variable reverse. So we will simply print it. Now let's execute it. Here I am giving input. Now as you can see for this particular input, I am getting the correct output. So I hope the explanation was clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Also, if you want to see these kind of videos in future, please don't forget to subscribe the coding bytes. Thank you.